Thunder Marine presents Living the Water Life's Tip of the Week with Vince Noble and Captain Jim Pollard. This week's tip of the week is going to be about shark rigs. Now, is it easy to go to the store and buy a pre-made rig? Absolutely. But you're going to end up spending $5, $7, $8, depending on the size hook and the size cable, potentially up to $10 per rig. But I'm going to show you a quick, fast way to make a shark rig the way I've been doing it since I was a kid. You know, sharks are my passion and what I'd love to do here in Tampa Bay um, for under $2. So for less than $2, you'll have a shark rig ready to rock in less than two minutes. So you do the math, I think that's the way to go. Two minutes, $2, all day long. All right, so the, th the items that I use is basically three basic things. I use a swivel. These swivels I use are uh, can uh, go up to about 411 pounds of pressure. Are we gonna put 411 pounds of pressure on a fish? No, we can't do that but the swivel can withstand that. So these are the swivels that I use, 411 pounds. They're uh, about five, five swivels per pack. And then I use stainless steel leader wire. Uh, say it's tooth proof. I don't think anything's tooth proof, but this is what I use. And this works very well for me. It's 30 foot, 325 pound uh, brown, basically it's piano wire. And then I use a nine knot circle hook that I get from Fisherman's Ideal Supply House. And circle hooks, I use on everything. I use circle hooks on absolutely every fish that I target. Um, it's just what I do. I think it's a great thing. It really helps the longevity of fish, keeps it out of their gut uh, most of the time. So it's in that corner of the mouth. So my steel, I cut it about off that 30, 30 foot roll, I cut roughly two and a half, three foot. So what I'm gonna do is I got my leader cut, I got my hook right here, my wire snips, and a swivel. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna set a timer. See if we can do this less than 10 minutes. 10 minutes, two minutes, sorry. And so we're gonna get started on this. Let's see here. All right, timer's going. So I bend about two inches in, two and a half roughly, slide the swivel on. So I grab that bend right there. Then I take my wires, wire snips, and I pinch that bend. So I'm sitting here. And then the tag in, just force it and start the twist. The reason I let about two inches, three inches, because this 325 pound steel cable is, uh, it's pretty tough stuff. And then I'm just gonna slowly start spinning it around the main line. And then I leave enough so I can grab it with my fingers and pinch it off. That way this little piece right here doesn't go flying across your house or your living room. You don't want that. So that's what that, that looks like. Nice tight swivel, nice tight coils, and repeat the same process on the other end with the circle hook. Put it through the eye, grab the pliers, pinch it down, grab the tag in. Nice first one, nice tight, and then the rest of them, just start spinning it around that main piece. Get a good twist on it. Lay the, each twist right next to the, the previous one. Get around it six, seven, eight times, whatever you feel comfortable with. And then the tag, put it through, hold that tag, pinch it off. One minute and 43 seconds, we have a shark rig ready to go. There's your circle hook, there's your swivel. Now another thing I do is I end up using somewhere something between 125 pound to 150 pound mono. Uh, I refer to this as the bite tippet because this is the part that's on the business end of the shark. And uh, 
depending on the size bait you're going to use, it's going to kind of dictate what size hook you're going to use. Uh, most of my uh, shark charters that I've been running lately, we've been hooking the, the fish somewhere between the five foot and 10 foot, five and seven foot has been the common that I've been targeting. Uh, occasionally we get those 10, 10, 12 foot hammerheads uh, that come up into the chump slick. And this is work, this is work on them. A nine knot circle hook, from Fisherman's Ideal Supply House is the way to go. It's strong. It works really good. You can buy them in bulk. You don't have to, you know, buy individual hooks or anything like that. My hooks, I buy them all in bulk up to a thousand hooks a uh, piece, and I use them for everything. Everything inshore, offshore, I use it all. Um, but I use another monofilament leader. That monofilament leader, before I get to my main line, is going to be somewhere in the whole, the whole leader is going to be somewhere in that 12 foot range, sometimes up to a 15 foot leader. These fish in Tampa Bay get big. And uh, some of my, when I'm targeting those big, big sharks, those sharks in excess of 10 foot, um, you know, up into that 20 foot range, uh, it's, it's a battle. We use uh, these big circle hooks for those using uh, big bonitas. Uh, we use the uh, stingrays. Uh, stuff like that and I use these 1500 pound uh, swivels with about a 750 pound cable leader I make all these myself as well and this is a little bit different style a little bit more involved with that it's actually a cable it's not a piano wire um, so what we'll do is on the next the next tip We'll get more involved with this stuff here but with these hooks and these rigs i found they are extremely fast efficient way each rig depending on where the shark bites it and uh bites that bait and pulls it out and when you go to set set that hook and bury it in the corner of his mouth if that shark's got it all the way down to here when you do that obviously you're pulling the bait away from him as he's swimming away and you'll get a kink in the wire um, I usually swap it out you know after I get one fish on one leader I swap it out can you kind of push it back and bend it back and try to make it straight again you can um, but I always do a fresh leader when I'm dealing with my sharks and I go for a perfect leader every single time I don't reuse them but I'll take I'll take the hardware off. I'll snip the hook off, snip the swivel off, and tie some more rigs and be right at it. So this is, in my opinion, the way to go. Build your own rigs. It's cost effective. It's not, it's not hard to do. It's really not. Just give it a shot and go catch that big one. This has been your tip of the week, sponsored by Custom Rods. Sea School, Big Daddy Sports Fishing, Pirate Johnny's, Sunsect, and the CCA. We'll see you next time.